Welcome to night 31 of Fun with Cheese. Tonight, there are no strings attached. Our friends of the show tonight include Cool Implement of Granton. I got some new hats. And um, tonight, tomorrow uh, would be our tractor drive in Auburndale where we uh, line up 40 tractors. Yes, 40, not 10, not three. In Auburndale, we always do it two and a half times bigger than anybody else's drive. Um, and uh, we do that in honor of a student uh, in our area. This year was going to be Elaine Reese. Uh, now don't worry, we don't have school. And Elaine's fighting her battle and she's doing quite well and recovering. Uh, but we're going to have your drive for you, Elaine, and don't you worry. So this would be a night that everybody would be out shining their tractors up. Um, but Elaine, we got your back. If you guys want to drive your tractors, have somebody take a video of you and post that on Facebook as a tribute to Elaine tomorrow uh, that you got her back, I think that would light up her light up her world and uh, she'd really enjoy that. Just make sure somebody else takes a video or you're just doing a selfie without the tractor driving. Um, tonight's story, mozzarella, string cheese, okay? So the string cheese is one of those things where um, we had a cheese, but then we took a different form to it. And it goes to the Baker family in St. Cloud, Wisconsin. And they were a cheddar factory. And after the war, the GIs came back and had tried pizza, real pizza for the first time. I was looking for this stretchy white cheese that would melt over tomato sauce and bread, always known as pizza. Well, they couldn't find it. And the Baker family, um, through five generations now, figured out during the third generation that this is a true market that was out there. So they converted the entire plant from cheddar to mozzarella to feed this new industry called ready to go pizza. You've heard of Pizza Hut in 58, Little Caesars in 59, and Domino's in 1960, which started in Michigan. Baker was the first to supply this market with mozzarella cheese. And this mozzarella cheese they looked at it one day and said, you know what, we can make this into snacks and get it in families and things like that because people liked it that much. So they played around like we do with all of our cheeses that we found. And they stretched and pulled and made it into logs and found out that it wasn't too bad. So the bakers took it to their local marketing firm, the bar, and asked their buddies, did they like it? And like, oh yeah, they liked it. And so they spread around. It's a true story. I'm reading it off their interview with the New Yorker. Uh, a couple of years ago in 2016. String cheese is here to stay and the Baker cheese name is the founding father. So when you go to your, your local cheese case in the grocery store and you see Baker string cheese and it's in a log about that big and they're about five inches long and they're all wadded together and about that big around, that's the Baker name on there and that's the original string cheese that's out there. Um, string cheese comes in a couple of different forms. We can have it like this. We can have what we call whips, okay? And the whips do string out. This one has a little more moisture than this one. Um, this stuff is put in a salt brine, so the salt's on the outside. Salt penetrates from the outside in, causing it to have its salty flavor. If you have mozzarella fresh, it's really not that salty. It's not a whole lot of flavor. The salt has to penetrate the curd in order to get that. We stretch the curd like this, rather than stirring it, to give it this ribbons of cheese that we have. Uh, original our mozzarella is made from buffalo's milk. Remember, it's Italy from yesterday. Um, we make our mo mozzarella out of cow's milk, although you can make it out of a lot of different milks. Uh, I was told by my uncle in Colorado that you could have llama milk. You find me the cheese and I'll do a show on it. Um, so, that's our story on mozzarella, string cheese. Can you take your mozzarella, if you don't have any in the fridge, and take your string cheese and put it on your pizza? Absolutely. It works. What's better than putting cheese on top of 